And that was the fall that. of the company. They yeah. they made excellent amount of dollars. They had a, a good sized company. They had um, um, about fifty employees. I don't. I know their gross revenues, but I will not say because uh, that wouldn't be right. Uh, and when they, uh, one day we all came into work and and they, it was a payday and they didn't have the money to pay us. What y'all do? And mo they were telling us, look, well, you can stay here. We're going to get the money to pay you. Just keep on working, we're going to get you. Some guys kept on working. I said, well, if you can't pay me now, the money you already owe me, I'm not staying here and working, hoping you're going to be able to pay me later on. Either you give me my money now, and I'll continue to work. Oh, I'm out of here. So <laughs> they, they did not give me the money. So I walked. I went from there to a lawyer friend of mine and started my own company. That day. Wow. I never stopped. I just went straight to him and started my articles of corporation. Same day. Same day. And he put it all together. And then I was in business. No, Had no facility. Had nothing. Just left high and dry and started a business. <laughs> you just knew it. That's what you was going to do. I just had to. I mean, it was... You know, this one was broke. Yeah. You know, so, and then I uh, got a warehouse, had no customers, but I did have some connections that I made when I was there. And I had call, I called these people and let them know that I was in business. A lot of them said that they would come with me and it didn't happen. Oh, wow. Some came, one came, I should say. And he kind of kept me afloat. In the beginning? In the beginning. You know, he had a little job here, jobs in North Carolina, jobs here in Virginia that I did, but it wasn't enough. You know, so he, um, so I had a warehouse that was full, was empty. And he said, well, look, I can go out and help you get some clients. So we went out and looked for clients. And he introduced me to quite a few people. One came. And she said, I will be over your warehouse to take a look tomorrow. And I'm thinking, look, I got an empty warehouse. This lady doesn't know that. She think I'm legitimately in business, got it going on. So I said, how am I going to uh, justify that I do not have any clients? <laughs> so I uh, got empty boxes and put it all around on some shelves. I had built shelves in the facility. And I put uh, logos on the boxes, making it all look legitimate, but nothing is actually in them. And when she came in the next day, the place was set up so beautifully, all the boxes in line, and it looked like I was running a legitimate business. That, I always loved that story because you told me that story, you know, back when I was, I was yeah. starting my thing. That's brilliant. 
Yeah. That's brilliant. Sometimes you got to be, what's think, the word? Creative. Yeah. Think outside of the box. Because you was legit. You just needed that push. Yeah. That's all you needed. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, if a person wants to do something and start something, I would say to them that you go to God first and consult him and don't sit around and wait for him to make it happen. You move in the direction that's on your mind to go and God will help you go to the maximum level of your potential and your drive and your initiative to, to move forward. He would help you achieve that. Uh, that's my experience um, in life. You know, whatever you want to achieve, you can do it. If you trust God first and move forward, act on what you trust in God for. That's the faith piece when you start acting on what you trust in God for. You just can't say, I trust God, and sit there and do nothing. You'll never get nothing. You'll never get anywhere. You have to move forward. And then you'll see what God is capable of doing in and through you, you know, as an individual.